Please do click that subscribe button and join the family. Today I'm actually going to start this vlog by doing my hair. Um, I'm just going to do a simple ponytail. Um, I am going to use these products. Um, I'm going to use this styling gel and wax. These are available from Clix. I know that this um, this wax is also available from Cosmetic Connection, but I don't have one in my area. Those are the main products I'm going to use, and then I'm going to um, set my hair with this Tresemme Firm Hold Spray. Um, this is just to control fri um, frizz and make sure that my hairstyle lasts a little long. And then I'm just going to use my comb and an old toothbrush, um, simple comb, and then um, a top comb. And this is my ponytail. Guys, this ponytail is very old. I don't know how much it retails for. Uh, but you see, this is just a simple darling brain. Um, I've had these for over five years. I used to do my own hair, like braid my own hair in varsity. So I have them from that long ago. I've been carrying them from house to house to house. So, um, oh, uh, let me not forget my Black Pearl Afro Botanics um, hair juice. I'm going to use this to wet my hair. I'm just going to go in with water versus just water. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give my hair a water spritz and then I'm just gonna do my pondo there at the back. Um, after I spritz with some water, I am going to give my scalp a little massage. I'm actually gonna use this, I didn't mention this. This is Shea Butter from Simply Natural. Simply Natural is my friend's business um, made in South Africa. I'm going to link her website, a very beautiful website, down in the description box. I'll also put a screenshot of um, that Shea Butter from her website. So I'm just going to use this to base my scalp like pretty quickly. Just like that. Give my scalp a quick massage. <laughs> and then I'm gonna spread it over the hair strands. Just simple like that. Um, I need to kill this line actually because I'm gonna do a high up do. So. Let me use this. 
I'm gonna go in with gel. This is just a simple hairstyle. My hair is actually very thin. It doesn't require a lot of um, gel. Very thin and short. Let me actually use this for my hairline. This is the all-in-one hair oil by Masori. Um, it's sample size. It's like 50 ml. But I don't think you find this in the shops. Um, I have, I do have a bigger one that you can get from Clix. I'm just going to use this to massage my very non-existent hairline. Guys, my hairline has never existed in my entire life and I don't even beat myself up about it. You know how we talk about how hairlines are receding and stuff? I've never had a healthy hairline from since I was a child, so I won't even blame myself for how it looks like. It looks exactly how it used to look when I was younger. So, that's what it is. Um, I'm just going to use some
guys, I am back. It's been like just about two hours. Ugh, I'm nervous. <laughs> this style, ideally, if you want it to last you a long time, you want to go overnight with this. And if you go overnight, you want to put um, a cotton a cotton duck over the silk one so that it doesn't slip off um, at night while you're sleeping. So let's go for the big reveal. Not looking too shabby, not too shabby. I think I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna attach my ponytail now. Um, don't mind the outfit change, it's still the same day. Um, my husband and I are just going out on a date now and I just decided to use my time to get ready. Um, so I actually think I'm going to use one of it. It has this um, Umber mix, black and grey. Um, so I'm just going to attach it to my little stompy at the top. with this hair I think it looks good I actually got a, a grey coat to match it because it's the evening now so I'm just gonna pack up my things I'm gonna use this bag I'm gonna use this bag this bucket bag because um, one thing about me I love big bags because I can fit everything and I want to be able to fit this this coat because I'm not very sure like it's um it's, it's winter right but it's not feeling so cold that it's looking dull outside because it's evening so I'm gonna take this jacket just in case but I want this bag to that can fit it in just in case I don't need it anymore um let me fit my earrings quickly We are not late <laughs> for once, but we will be if I'm not quick enough. Um, did I even tell you guys where we're going? We're going to watch comedy at um, the Bokeh Creative Studios. Um, it's um, comedy, it's called. Cape Town Comedy Sundays. Today's a Sunday. Um, with Kate Pinchuk, who's a comedian. Um, they're gonna have that Popeye. What is it called again? 
the one who used to be on news time with Teresa Gola or something and then they're gonna have um Lerato Sukulu and they're gonna have um who's is this Daryl oh god I'm so terrible like I don't even know the lineup <laughs> for where I am going like how bad is that um my ring my ring So yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm quite liking this hair. Okay, okay, I like it. I like it, guys. I'm gonna get ready. Let me actually show you my entire outfit. So this is how we're looking. Looking good. Um, just feeling a black. I'm gonna wear this black and off white top. This is from Oli's, and these are pants, and my bag, and this coat. It's also from Oli's. Um, these pants are also from Oli's, and this is from Oli's. The top is from Oli's as well. Um, and my gray hair. <laughs> Guys, I'm feeling cute. Uh, I'm feeling very cute. I'm feeling very cute. Okay. Oh, my shoes are from. I'm just wearing these um, short heel sling back shoes. These are from. I don't know where these are from. I normally buy shoes at Shoe City or Foshini. I really do not remember where those come from. But yeah, I'm going to get going now. My husband is actually hounding me already downstairs. So I'm just going to get going. Guys, I'm feeling this hairstyle, hey? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. How do I show you? Turn right. You know, Boke is actually just near the promenade. Mm -hmm. In 300 meters, turn left. <sighs> I'm actually hungry. <laughs> Should have eaten. Did I eat when we came back from church? Did I, you see me eating? I think you tried to. What did I don't know I what you were doing meters. in the kitchen. You were turn left. Something. No, I didn't something. eat. I actually didn't eat today. I had a banana and a mandarin. Feeling so hungry. I'd actually forgot to left. you see this thing of getting too busy to take care of oneself. It's problematic. Forget to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have forgotten eating. Because I don't remember eating at all today. We woke up, went straight to church. Um are you racing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm driving, I'm yeah. trying to get us in time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cool down though. I, am cool. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what you're talking about. Wow. So, I am cool. Yes. Wishing I could take a break from this world. Running on a hamster wheel, but searching for something I can't feel. I just wanna.
do you do? You're a manager. I mean, me too. In the sense that I manage myself, and I am hard to manage. I mean, in a way, emotionally. I would say, what do you manage? Mmm, aluminium. <laughs> one of the one of the heavy metals. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Yes, pots, pans, and other such. Okay, cool. Good to know. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move on from you. <laughs> you that I've rebranded. I'm no longer a hoe. Uh, uh, just my bum has a hard time accepting that, you know, I've left that lifestyle. Because 2020 was a bad time to be a side chick, okay? Um, all the husbands were where they were supposed to be. <laughs> and um, so I had to downgrade, and I downgraded to a relationship. Yeah, yeah. Instead of champagne, showers, it's laundry day. <laughs> but he's a great guy, he pays rent, so. <laughs> yeah, it's important, it's important. I'm not ashamed about it. I'm in Cape Town, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm from Schlanga in Durban. You gotta say it like that so we know it's real. And I thought I was boiling over there, only to find out my rent can only afford OBS. So. <laughs> So I've been thinking of ways where I can generate revenue because, you know, we need money. And I thought, you know what? My grandmother is the greatest scammer I know. <laughs> yeah, we don't like to talk shit about our grandparents, but I'll talk shit about mine because this lady never wanted us to call her grandma. Her name is Swazi Girl. <laughs> I know, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> she told us as soon as we could talk that we was never under any circumstances call her grandma. Her name is Swazi Girl. And Swazi Girl is the treasurer at church, very dignified lady, which is why you wouldn't suspect that she's a scammer, right? So Swazi Girl invites us one day, I think it was about 15. The first red flag I should have seen was that she invited us and asked us to wear white. So I was like, okay, 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 whatever, Granny, we'll wear white. The second red flag was that she invited us to my uncle's house in the hood. My uncle is an architect, right? But he's also a drunk. So he has all his great ideas when he's drunk. And he tries to implement them. So at his house, as soon as you walk in, there's a big hole because he's currently building something. We don't know what. Okay, fine. We go, we're all dressed in white. There's about 15 of us. And uh, the third red flag was that there was no Sunday lunch in sight. So we're like, okay, something is up. And lo and behold, two minutes later, a kumbi full of white people came. Now there are two things, personally, I think, when white people come to the township. One, it's a tour, obviously, because we've got to see how poor people are sometimes, <laughs> just to have a little gratitude, you know? <laughs> got across the train tracks. Three, Mavis didn't make it to work because there's a strike. So we gotta fetch Mavis because she's got to work. So I'm really worried at this point. And uh, they come out the kumbi and my grandmother's like, yeah, Monday line, Monday line, stand in a line. And we're all standing in a line. She's like, yeah, these are the offense I'm releasing. <laughs> and then she points to my uncle's house. This is the house I was telling you about that we are struggling to finish. <laughs> At this point, I'm like, excuse me, I'm not an orphan. And she was like, where's your dad? I'm like, he died. She's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and he is working up for a world tour. He's going to do a show all around the world, and it's very exciting. And he is a very, very amazing comedian, and you're going to love him. And Ari, can you stop the clap, please? Yes. You, you want to participate, I'm helping you. Okay, stop the cap, stop the cap, let's go, let's go, let's go. And one more stage, come on, come My friend, the magician. Hey, hey, it's so great to 
be here. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, give my mom a round of applause. She hasn't seen me do comedy in years and she's here tonight. Give her a round of applause, please, my friends. She's dead, but I can feel her presence in the room now. <laughs> I'm going to introduce you a friend of mine. Uh, this guy is a puppet. You all, some of you will know from TV to follow politics. I want you to clap and scream as he comes out of this bag. Theo, I want you to go absolutely mad like Helen Zilla on Twitter. I want absolute pandemonium like John Stearnays in trying to arrest Vladimir Putin. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, working on some new stuff, please welcome my good friend, uh, Mr. Chester Buse! That's Theo, we have the same haircut. <laughs> don't piss him off, I don't care. Like, you're the one who's gonna move. <laughs> Fuck, I, yeah, he's got social anxiety. Do you guys know what that is? Social anxiety. Does anyone here have social anxiety? Don't raise your hand, you'll just freak yourself out. <laughs> Hi guys, hello. So today's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday today. Um, it's Tuesday night. I had a long day. Just came came back from work, chilled a little, cooked. Um, I'm very sad that I could not vlog that because I was chasing a low chilling. Low chilling is literally coming in an hour, about an hour from now. Uh, but now I just wanted to wash my hair. I just took off my I took off my ponytail. So now I'm gonna wash my hair. Let me show you. The hair has so much white residue on it. I don't know if you can see there's so much white residue from the wax that I used um, so I'm gonna wash it off now I'm gonna use my Masori products I'm gonna use this activated charcoal shampoo there we go um, and I'm gonna do a deep condition afterwards um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna do that's how I remove the wax and the gel from my hair um, because I have actually activated um, charcoal is very strong and probably not good for thin hair like mine um, but what I do like because now my hair is very dirty because of the wax it's such a deep cleanser like it's it's very effective in cleaning normally I use this L'Oreal El Vive um, extraordinary oil um, low shampoo for gentle cleansing this works well for my hair when I wash it like every twice a month about fortnightly so this is what I use it's a, you can call it a co-wash I think um, and it doesn't produce a foam because it doesn't have sulfates so it's quite gentle on my hair so that's what I use normally but today when my hair is really 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 dirty I like going in with this activated charcoal so that's what I'm going to do and then while I did condition my hair, I'm going to read my book. I am reading um, Bamboozled by Jesus by Yvonne Orji and I'm loving that book so much. Um, I actually started reading it a long time ago and then I left it at like three, quarter, three quarters of the book guys. I think because I touched my eye while I'm touching my hair something went into my eye. Um, but anyway, I was saying I was reading the book and then I left it at three quarters of the book because life got busy. But now I'm, I'm catching up on it again. So that's what I'm going to do. What, I'm, what I like doing when I deep condition my hair after shampooing it, I like just sitting. I, I'm going to leave the deep conditioner on for like um, an hour, an hour or even two. They recommend like 20 minutes. Let me see what they actually say. Yeah, they do say leave it on for 20 minutes while covered but i just like going beyond so i'm going to do like an hour or two hours sitting while i read my book um and i think low chilling will catch me <laughs> and that will be the end of my day <laughs> let me actually get washing now issues i know 
I know I last saw you on Tuesday. It's been a long week and it's also been a long day. It's actually towards um, the evening now and I'm about to go out to see a friend. A friend of mine, very preggy. The girl can pop anytime so I just want to go see her, you know, before our little bunny comes. Um, so that's where I'm going today. I literally, I'm actually chasing no cheating. Guys, can we talk about... The lie that we live in this country in this our salva because it's not real life it's a lie like they're lying to us this is not real life like there's electricity stashed somewhere they don't want to tell us they don't want to believe this is the truth <laughs> um but anyway that's me lying to myself and lying to you guys i should get going Come down now. Mm, it's Hectic. Um, you know, Ntavi Singh actually said she craves coke and <laughs> she craves coke and ginger biscuits. Coke and ginger biscuits. Yeah. Did you get them? Yeah, I just got them now with the shopping. I should actually pack the meat, especially. I should pack the meat. Then my friend said she craves ginger biscuits. I got her these baker's ginger biscuits. Um, and she craves coke. <laughs> so I got her a whole two-liter bottle of coke and two packs of 
biscuits. I think being pregnant is nice. What do you think? Hey, love. Mm -hmm. I said, I think being pregnant is nice. What do you think? Mm, no, <laughs> Will you pack the meat then? Yeah, I'll pack the meat. I sit down and pack it. Okay, like now? Yeah, like now. You can eat it. I'm gonna go then. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you later. I think Lochelle is gonna beat me because there's like a four hour slot. I don't think I'll have the time to edit. Like I plan to. And your computer charge the inverter. You can use the inverter. Love interrupted by tragedy Lost in the drought of nightfall Running in search of the remedy Trying to find her place Come say 
hello to the people. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am actually only leaving my uh, my friend's house now and load shedding is literally in 30 minutes. I'm gonna rush to get home before it hits me. Um, I actually thought to close this vlog here. I feel like this vlog has been too long. Guys, if you've been watching until the end, if you've been watching up until this part, um... Oh, before my friend gave me a scarf dinner. Get yourselves friends cook for you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, what was I saying? I was saying if you've watched up until this far, I appreciate you. You are a darling. Uh, but I'm gonna close this vlog now. I'll see you in the next vlog or video or whatever it will be. Um, yeah, bye. Oh,